All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Holy Elect. You know, today I got this um, article right here. You know, I got a title, just this article from um, Newsbreak. And it says, U.S. dollar is near its end. New warnings reveal. Hey, and these are the times we're living in. Hey, the momentum is going digital. You see? Hey, we're going digital, man. Hey, that's, that's what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to the um, Esau's Edom so-called New World Order. Well, know why? Because guess what? That means our Lord Yahweh Shai is getting even closer. You see, and hey, we need these things to take place, um, so we can be delivered out of America. So yeah, I, hey, I hope the dollar fell and they do go digital. Hey, hey, man, that's what we're looking forward to. That's the major prophecy that we're looking forward to. That Karagma being pushed. You see, and it says I'm just gonna. I ain't gonna read. You know, I'm just going to read a little bit. It says, it's been revealed that the U.S. dollar may be near its end. You say, check out the latest reports about, about the matter below. You see, it says, reveal the U.S. dollar probably at its end, man. Talking about this paper dollar. It, it will be no more paper uh, currency here in the U.S. pretty soon. Everything is going to go digital. You see all these other countries uh, moving to their CBDCs. Hey, and, and and they they dropping the U.S. dollar. America, they're going to have to fall in line, you see? But, hey, that's what we need, though, because all that is prophecy, and that just means we're close to our Lord Yahweh Shai returning and delivering us. Lord, we are, we are the elect. It said, the future of the U.S. dollar and the American empire itself is now firmly in doubt. You see, it said the dollar and the empire itself, because guess what? America will be wiped off the face of the earth, man. When that Karama get implemented, World War Three go off, um, you know, pop off, uh, America going to be wiped off the face of the earth by the way of those, I see, hypersonic nuclear missiles. You see? Well, yeah, I ain't going to, you know, read, read too much in it. But, hey, the title says it all. This is on um, St. James 5 and verse 1. He say, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. See, speaking um, about these elites, you see, and all the Edomites over here in America, you know, a hey, weep and howl. But, hey, because, hey, your time is coming where you're going to have to serve slavery. Hey, you, uh, what did it say? You reap what you sow. So you're going to get back all the, uh, the, the, the ill dealings that you've been doing to the nation of Israel for years, you're going to get those dealings back, man, by the hands of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, verse 2, it says, Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eating. Um, I'm going to read it in NLT. It says, Your wealth is rotting away and your fine clothes are moth-eating. You see the A. All your money that you have saved up, hey, it's just rotting away, man, because you, you got all this, but guess what? It's going to be a uh, transition into the hands of our Lord Yahweh Shai. He's going to return with the uh, with the clouds of heaven, the chariots, so-called UFOs, and they're going to take over, man. And Lord willing, we'll be elect, and we're going to be right up under him, man. Uh, verse 3, he say, your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. So, yeah, Esau, you can keep doing all what you want to do. Thank you. going to uh, do this and that. And the Lord just said you have reaped treasures together for the last days. He said your gold and silver is cankered. I'm going to read it in the NLT. It said your gold and silver have become worthless. And that's this paper dollar, man. It's worthless now, man. 
everybody uh dropping it nobody wanted to deal with the paper dollar anymore hey, america is finished man that's why the momentum is going digital because guess what every other country is already you know um going digital uh russia got their own digital currency china uh who is that saudi arabia and they're trying to join join the BRICS. mexico is trying to join the BRICS as well you see and this paper doll is worthless, man. Nobody cares about it anymore. You see? Hey, and that's what's going to lead to this. Revelation 13. And verse 16. You see? Hey, the dollar feeling. America going to go digital. Hey, sooner or later, man. You got it. Hey, you got Fed now coming up. I think they say July. Fed now is going to be pushed to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you Edomites. Everybody over here in America, that's what you got to look forward to, man. You trusting in your dollar. Hey, you're going to you have to go straight digital currency real soon. And it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bun, to receive a mark. In their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is going into the karagma, the MOTB, that grain of rice. You see? And it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, hey, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have that um, that karagma uh, stuck in you. You see? And it says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6, 666. I'm going to get that word. It's G5516, Kasai Stigma, 666. You come to the Strong's, it takes you to G4742 which is stigma. It say a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. So this will be a physical mark. So for all these other camps who are saying that it's, uh, it's a spiritual mark, it's an embargo, it's white men, uh, white women, hey, they're lying to you people. So hey, your best bet will be to stop listening to them and fall in line under the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have the 100% truth, man. You see? Because, hey, this thing is, it, hey, this is real and it will happen pretty soon, man. It says, to ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their masters or commander branded or, or prick cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And the scriptures tell us, it says, we are yet this day in our captivity. It says slaves and soldiers. So you niggas in the military, you're going to have to take this shit, man. Hey, he's going to have to come with a draft real soon, man. Because, hey, nobody want to join his military. You see, we we, hey, we slaves over here in America. And hey, we trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh over here, man. Lord, will he keep our spirit like that until the end, man. We a hey, fuck this Karagama. We just need it to happen so we can get out of here. Hey, chop our head off, do whatever, man. But, hey, we need this to happen so we can go home. You see? So, uh, two-thirds of our people, they're going to bow down and take it, man. And you see, it said, it's a branded or prick cut into their bodies to indicate what master they belong to. So, hey, this is going to be a physical mark put inside of you. To show who you truly worship. And if you take that, you showing Yahweh by Hashem Shah that you truly worship Esau Edom. And you're gonna get put to death for that. You're gonna get a grievous sore, Revelation 16 and 2 first, and you're gonna get put to death. Revelation 14 and 9. For for people who, who are uh, thinking about receiving that dead um karagma. This on uh, Revelation 14 and 9 is a doom for worshipers of the beast. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his right hand or in his forehead, 
And, you know, you got people saying, so what's the forehead? And, hey, that's it's a physical mark, man. Elon Musk got a brain chip, man. There's another company um, a brother put in the group chat about that. Um, they have a brain chip that's actually going into your skull, man. Hey, this is a real mark, man. You see? And it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the heavenly father, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So, hey, you receive that mark, you're going to be tormented by the way of those hypersonic nuclear missiles, man. And they say it's going to take like 30 minutes. For for uh, certain of those nuclear missiles to get over here to America, man, and they tell you America going to be wiped off the face of the earth and went within one hour, man. Hey, that's going to be your punishment if you bow down and receive this mark, man. So it'd be your best bet, hey, to repent and return back to your house by Shah, man, and hey, go out like a man, bro. You see. You 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 nutting up and curring up and, and you receiving this mark and hey, you're gonna have a grievous death, man. That's why we pray and hope that the Lord keep that spirit on us to go out for the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, to stand so stiffly for the names, to receive those crowns and palms in our hands. That's what we got to look forward to for standing stiffly for the names, man. Rulership for eternity on our Lord Yahweh Shah and our righteousness. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. And with that, I want to end it by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learned the truth from. And I want to say shalom to the hopefully elect.